How y'all doing? I'm Brian. That's the X3 right there. And this is the Insta360 Action Remote. GPS Action Watch, GPS Adventure Watch, Insta360 Action Remote, the Insta360 GPS Action Remote. Insta360's little thing for the camera. So it's good for the, uh, the 1R, 1RS, the X2, and the X3. It is nice to be able to put the GPS stats on there and it shows your speed constantly throughout the entire ride. Whereas here I'm tracking on the Relieve, Relive app. Yeah, that one will show your average speed, your top speed. Um, but this will show you the whole way. See how fast we get it up on this little back road. This is not a rad runner, by the way. <laughs> It's the Eco Trick Hammer. I've been loving this bike. The funnest thing about the GPS Action Remote is that you can put a speed up here, or you can put it over here, or you can put it over here. Uh, I think let's put it back over there. And then you can put like your route over here, whatever you're doing. Or you can put it somewhere else. You can change them all around anywhere. You can put any number of things anywhere on the display. So you can change it, not just from the one that you see mostly when people edit it on their phone, but you can also change it to this one or this one, depending on your mood. This is pretty good. It's water resistant. It's nice to be able to start and stop. When you're right here, you can see it. You're on a bowsprit right now. I'm not climbing out there. I can't reach that if I tried. I couldn't reach that with a boat hook right now. The one added bonus that I really like that I don't really see too many people talking about is it also shows you your battery on this as well as your camera. The action remote is awesome. This thing works. Now I had bought the previous model, never got the GPS to work. Uh, something about an update. I have Android, who knows? But it didn't matter because I pretty much just wanted it to know whether the camera was on or not. The X3 is completely reliable. Previous models of the Insta360 cameras were a little bit glitchy, you know, like GoPros are. If I was putting up the 1R or the 1X up on a 10-footer, I needed to know whether that was still on or not. Uh, a lot of times it would go off just for a minute and you couldn't get back on. Um, at least you knew when to stop. The other part I like about it is most of the time when I put the camera up, I just leave it on and it stays on for the duration. Um, now, if I get to a boring part or, you know, a spot that isn't as scenic, I can shut this off, save the battery, save the card, save the footage. And then when something starts happening again, hit the button. It's a good accessory. I think it was like 80, 89 bucks, something like that. Thought I'd just like to share that with you. Well, I hope you enjoyed Taylor Park and, uh, you have a great day.